How's it going, guys? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of Colony Survival. Now, today, we're going to be continuing building this neighborhood here. I also want to address a few issues that we've been having. Uh, most importantly is the direction that my residents are taking to go back to the castle. A lot of them will walk through uh, the forest here for whatever reason, and then beeline it to the castle... Uh, when they do get right around this area. Now that's a little bit of a problem because there's lots of zombies in there at night and I lose about 13 colonists every night uh, just by them traveling back. So I want to address that issue first of all. Uh, in a perfect world, I'd like to lose no colonists, but this game's so crazy that I highly doubt that will, will happen anymore. Just because of our size, there's going to be people that are going to die. Now, the one way that I'm hoping to fix this is to build the underground tunnel. Now, I did say last episode that I was going to build an underground tunnel in this room, uh, so we can kind of connect the castle to the neighborhood here, and hopefully they utilize that tunnel at nighttime. That's really what I want to figure out, so we're going to check it out. I'm I'm thinking I'm just gonna put the tunnel kind of right over here by these steps and it should look perfect. Now I gotta actually find where the tunnel ends, I believe. No, it's not there, okay. Alright, I thought I built it out all the way this way, but clearly I'm mistaken. That's alright because we can go in right here and oh actually okay so unfortunately we're not even in the main room yet so I don't even know if I have anything left for my tunnel over here. I might need to build this whole thing out here, but for right now, we're just going to build this way, and let's actually see... Oh, area menu. Okay, yeah, so we're definitely below a farm plot right now. There's some stone, so we know we're at the end of the farm plot. Let's go take a peek. Okay, so that's another farm plot. Shit, we are further than I thought. And there is another stone and grass, so... I believe, yeah, we should be pretty much right beside... Okay, let me actually see where I am. Alright, so we are right beside the actual house now, so we want to... Well, I guess the best option would be to dig down and connect to this. So if we go over here and then start digging this out, we may as well fire this guy because I'm going to have this uh, probably about the same as that. So we're going to start digging this way because I actually want the stairs to go this way and then what we're gonna have to do is connect these together so I'm just gonna do a line this way so we know exactly where the tunnel is and then we can connect both together and we should be good to go now I'm going to expand out this as well uh, let's actually just cover this up so it doesn't look so bad out here there we go got that back like nothing happened and uh, we're going to work on this in a second but we should now be able to dig down and right this direction, I actually think we're already connected. Yes, we are. Perfect. And now we should have our tunnels connected. And now we should be totally connected to the castle. Mind you, it is not the best setup just yet. But you can see we can make it down there. It's just a long ways away. All right, so we're just going to close this up. I don't need to add any more to this. All right, so that should be good just like that. Uh, you know what? Let's actually expand this out. Let's make it a little bit more presentable. I'm going to be doing some digging today, so we will definitely uh, make this look a little bit more presentable. But for right now, we'll just make it too wide. And I just want to see if people actually use it at night. All right, so now let's just make it look a little bit more presentable inside the building here. We got some grass on the side. Obviously, we don't want that. Uh, so we're going to hide this. I guess we'll use, yeah, stone will be probably the most presentable here since it is the foundation after all. Okay, so people are coming. Oh, shit. I need to actually fix these steps. There we go. Oh, God. People are shooting already. All right, so it is technically, it should work now, but people... I think they're all going into... Are they going into the forest instead? Yeah, we got some guys, unfortunately, going into the forest. So, I don't think the underground tunnel is, unfortunately, going to help with these guys. Because they're still walking in there, as you can see. Uh, so, I guess we gotta go back to the drawing board. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is build some guard towers in the forest or something. And we might need to also uh, clear-cut the forest, unfortunately. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but we at least have a connection from base to base now. Now, I'm going to make this look a little bit more presentable. I actually might close this all in. Yeah, you know what? I think that will look pretty cool. So we'll just have a door there now, kind of. And uh, down here goes to the mines, and above goes to the bunk. So let's get some torches in here as well. My, my inventory is so damn messy, but I definitely need to see. That would be great. There we go. Now I am going to get rid of some of these ugly blocks as well. Should I do... I think, yeah, you know what? I, I'm going to keep it with wood. And there we go. So that looks 
a lot more presentable now at least. Let's uh, go and torch this place up. So we'll put some torches there. Uh, this is pretty much presentable, but obviously in here we can't see shit. So there we go. Oh, okay. I thought, <laughs> I thought that was a zombie. That was just a block. But this place is lit up quite well, and then over here you can see I still have so much to do. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. Uh, but yeah, this room, I want it to be as big as my farmland. It's just going to take me so damn long. So I'm going to do a little bit now as it is nighttime. And then in the day, I think we are going to start clear-cutting that forest and figuring out if we should put guards in there or what we should do to keep our colonists safe. All right, we can see some colonists at least using the underground tunnel to possibly go to work, which is huge because... Oh, wait. They're... Okay, some of them... Yes, the majority of them... I don't know where that other guy went. I saw... Okay, maybe I'm crazy. I thought I saw another guy. But yes, this is a good sign. They are using the tunnel now to go back to work. Oh, did I miss that? Okay, let's just fill that in real quick. You guys go have a good day at work. Uh, now I'm just curious. Are they actually going to use it tonight? Or not, because uh, we did only u lose three guys last night, so I'm thinking some of them are indeed using the underground tunnels now, which is good. But I am going to start clear-cutting out this forest just to kind of see what's going on during here at night. And like I said, if we do need to put some guard towers down, uh, we will definitely do that over here. I just want to make sure my colonists can get home safely every night. All right, so I pushed back the forest to uh, the second incline here, more or less, and I'm thinking that's probably far enough. Now, I don't actually know. I haven't really been paying attention to the flora, but I think these trees slowly regrow, and uh, if that's the case, that's probably why they were slowly spreading into my farmlands. Uh, but also, if that's the case, I need to worry about uh, doing a little bit of tree trimming over here all the time so the uh, colonists don't get stuck in here. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch how they go home tonight, and if we do get a lot of guys dying over here, we're going to have to build some more guard towers. Alright, it's looking like it's almost nighttime, so I'm just gonna stand out in the, uh, field here, and I'm gonna see which way these guys go. Okay, so here they go to bed. Now, I just wanna make sure you can see how much I push back the forest. We should be okay, we got one guy... All right, please, guys, don't go this way. I just, I need you guys to not do that. Uh, we already got zombies spawning in, as you can see. Uh, they are coming in, but it's looking like, oh, did I fix it? I think I did fix it, guys. Uh, so I think the underground tunnel did work, just for whatever reason, not the first night. Now, we are still going to probably lose a couple guys. Look at this guy dragging a zombie. Uh, just because, you know, they still kind of wander about and take their time getting home. Uh, I actually am going to, yeah, there goes a couple. Uh, actually, just one. Nope, there's two. <laughs> now, I'm actually going to increase the amount of guards, I think. Uh, a lot of you guys were suggesting I do that, and I knew about it, by the way. I was just, uh, I didn't really see the point at the time, but I could definitely see, uh, how we do need a few more guards in the fields. But, that's really good. We only lost two employees tonight with 302 colonists. I gotta assume that's pretty damn good. Alright, so now, during tonight, we're just going to increase our, uh guard load here. I'm just gonna put one more on these posts for right now. We can obviously put a lot more on here, which is cool. But again, we don't want to get too crazy with the guards because uh, then we'll run into food issues. Mind you, we're now at 27,000 food, guys. So I think, I think we're doing pretty good. Oh, shit. We got a lot of guard- Oh, <laughs> zombies over here. Okay, so I might even- No, you know what? I, th I think we're gonna keep it about the same- they're killing them, it's just, uh, wow. Uh, wow, I didn't really, I didn't, okay, that's right, I'm supposed to fill this in a little bit. Uh, so this one I didn't totally finish, I was wondering why it was looking weird. There we go, so we got that one, it looks like it's daytime once again, and I got a few more guard posts to do, but, uh, we'll get these guys up, and then hopefully it's a little bit safer even today. Alright, so that should help out with the, uh, guard duties out here. I'm also, should I... I'm thinking about getting rid of some of this for us, too. A lot of you guys are saying I should do it. Uh, how many? Okay, so we need to employ some more people. Let's get 19 more citizens here. So what are we at right now? 321. Uh, I might have to address my bed soon, too. We're uh, increasing so quickly. But that should help out over here. I'm actually... Whoa. I don't remember doing this. That's interesting. Okay, so I, I must have built something there. But yes, I think I'm going to keep this uh, forest here for right now. Uh, I need to go back to the neighborhood because I want to build some more things over there. The neighborhood's really making me excited. 
Uh, I'm also going to do something that you guys actually suggested in the last episode, because we had these grindstone guys out here, but I didn't even think about it. They should be in a windmill. So we got all these grindstones. I think I'm going to make one big epic windmill for these two houses, and then obviously we can put something else in these houses uh, that would be more accurate, because a grindstone, if you don't know, back in the day, that's what windmills used to do. They used to grind wheat. So obviously they should have a very, very large windmill. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want to really put that. I'm almost thinking, I think it will look cool over here. I do want to expand out the, uh, the neighborhood a little bit. I don't want it just one road. But I kind of want to expand out the road as well and make the neighborhood as long as possible. So, yeah, you know what? Screw it. I think I'm going to do it over here. Now, it's going to be probably a rather large windmill, so I'm going to get rid of some of this forest here. And and I got to be honest, I have no plans on how to design a windmill. I've never tried to build a windmill before, so it's probably going to look absolutely awful. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it my shot, man. I'm gonna give it my best shot, and we'll see how it looks when we're all done here. Oh my god, this forest is really thick, and of course all the trees are connected to each other. My god, do you see how big that tree is? Alright, let's go inside the tree, and there we go. We got that, and I'm stuck inside a damn tree. Alright, the forest that never ends. Like, seriously, there we go. We got rid of that. I just want to see everything vanish. Alright, so... That should be good. We'll keep that forest down there. This should be more than enough room. And yeah, let's get to windmill building. Now, I'm going into this not planning at all what I'm going to do. So obviously, it's probably not going to go perfectly. I'm going to make try, or I'm going to try and make uh, kind of like a round design here. So uh, first of all, I'm going to do the foundation. All right. And for the foundation, we're just going to kind of do like this oval design here. Uh, don't really know how it's gonna look at the in the long run. We'll just check it out real quick first and see how it is. Now in the front, we're just going to keep this kind of straight. I'll expand out the back a little bit though, like that. And then we basically just gotta do the other side of the oval, and we're pretty much good. And somehow my judgment is perfect once again. We we just missed the other house, but uh, yeah, that should look. Absolutely fantastic. Now, how many? We did one on that one, and then two, and then two. Oh, actually, I think I did it. All right, I, 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 did, I did something wrong here. Okay, so there we go. I fixed it up, and we're just going to quickly get rid of all this dirt. And I just want to kind of look at this and see what it's going to look like, because... I, I, I honestly, I've never really seen a windmill in real life. I've seen them in games, obviously. So that's kind of what I'm basing my assumptions off of. And I know it's probably weird I've never seen a windmill, considering I'm Canadian and there's farmland everywhere. But I seriously haven't, so... Uh, I don't actually... I'm not really feeling this just yet. Uh, no, I, I, I don't want to make it any larger. Alright, and I think I got a shape that I'm kind of content with. I mean, it's hard to tell when you're just looking at a foundation... Uh, but that's kind of oval-like, and I think it's going to look pretty presentable. So, uh, I just did some nice hardwood flooring there. We're going to use stone for the outside, just to match the road here. And yeah, let's start this thing up. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing, but it should be fun. Alright, so walls are up right now. Let's see this from a distance and just see, uh, yeah, I'm actually not minding that anymore. So what I'm going to kind of do is slowly make it go inwards uh, as it does go up because most uh, lighthouses from my memory seem to do that as well. So basically what we're going to want to do now uh, that we're three up. Wow, we are really close to this roof. But yeah, now that we're three voxels up, we're just going to go in by one pixel here. I don't really know if it's called pixels in creative games like this, but basically we're just going to make it a little bit smaller all the way around. Go three up again and then do this once again probably. And then we'll see how tall this thing is. Alright, this is going to look awesome, I think. It's going to be very, very tall. We're already... Well, we're getting close to the larger buildings here, and I'm only on tier 2 out of 3 tiers that I want to do. Uh, the third tier is probably also going to be much, much taller as well. So we'll see how this looks when I'm done this row here. This is going to be uh, 6 high, I believe, and it should look pretty damn awesome. So there we go. We got that tier done. Uh, we can see from the ground here, you can see how it's gonna kind of look. It's just gonna slowly go upwards. I might actually make these a bit taller, too. I'm not... I definitely feel like I'm going to need a rather big structure here. So, yeah, we'll, I think we'll make it a little bit taller. 
All right, and now we should be, uh, wow, we are really freaking high up. Uh, but yeah, we should have two rows done. Oh, god damn it, I hurt myself. Okay, I really gotta heal. Last thing I want to do is die. Mind you, if I die, it's not the biggest, uh, problem because I could just respawn. But now I just want to see this from the ground here. I hurt myself again. God damn it. The fall damage is real in this game. All right, that is fucking... Are, that's almost too close to that little house, but that is scary looking with how large it's going to be. So we're going to do probably another floor, maybe even a little higher than these two floors. And then we're just going to kind of round off the top, I think. All right. Well, that was a little bit of a process, but uh, yeah, this isn't scary at all, as you can see. Uh, one, you know, false move and it's my death, basically. Oh, I'm all out again? Holy shit, I've used so much coated blanks for this thing. All right, but I'm thinking I don't want to go much higher than this. At this point, I think we are actually higher than my castle. So, yeah, this thing is freaking huge. Maybe this isn't the best way down. Actually, look at that. Skills to pay the bills. Tis but a scratch. So let's see. Oh, my God. Okay, we definitely need some lighting for this thing. It looks like a big old turd right now. But that kind of, if you squint... It kind of looks like a windmill. Now, obviously, we need to add the windmill por portion of it. But, uh, yeah, it actually... I kind of regret putting it over here because it blocks out the sunlight for the damn neighborhood. Regardless, it's only for half the day, so it's not too bad. And we will be expanding this out even more. I just... I just, I, I kind of like the whole rustic, dark look of this thing. It looks absolutely awesome. So now I'm just going to kind of dome the top, or do my best to dome the top. The thing, it's, it's, I, I don't even, I don't even think it's actually that even. So I don't know if I'll be able to do the best dome per se. Oh my god, okay, so it's just got to go all the way up. Now, uh, are we at the top yet? Jesus. All right, so there we go. We're at the top. We'll obviously get rid of that later on. So I'm just going to cap this off. Uh, so we don't have to worry about falling off, and then I'll figure out how to kind of dome this. Alright, so now we're up here. I, uh, filled it in, and I also addressed some lopsidedness. I, I don't know what I did wrong, but, uh, some of this wasn't perfect. So I don't know how it's gonna look down there, but at least the top, both sides are exactly the same now. So now what I'm actually gonna do, because we're never gonna see this from close proximity, I'm gonna use green for this, because, uh, a lot of farm windmills do have a colored top, and we don't have red or anything, I would love to go do red. But we have to utilize what we have to our disposal, so I'm going to, uh, kind of do, a, like, a green dome up here, and from a distance, I mean, you can see the trees over there, I think it'll look pretty cool. All right, and there we go. So it's kind of dome-like. Now, how the fuck am I going to get down from here? I didn't think about that. You know what? I'm just going to go right through the damn floor here. So we'll cover that up. Uh, oh, that's not, that's not right. So we'll just get inside here and cover that up, and then we can dig right through to the floor here. Oh, God. Now I can't. Oh, I shouldn't have... Okay. Got, got, got lucky. All right. And now it's time to do some interior decorating. I do actually want to see what this thing looks like, though. Uh, in terms of how it looks right now in here... Yeah, it's a lot of freaking wood. I know. Trust me. Uh, all right. So how we do want... Okay, uh, let's just go down and hopefully I don't kill myself. But now what I'm most excited about, you can actually see because I didn't uh, do the walls perfectly... There is some light coming through the walls and whatnot. Uh, we'll address these issues later. Actually, let's fix this real quick first. All right, there we go. So I think that should be all my scaffolding done. You can see how crazy it looks in here. I did make some uh, mistakes, that's for sure. Get rid of that one. Uh, but yeah, we'll fix it up in here. I just want to see what it looks like from the outside now. Uh, <laughs> okay, the top doesn't look like I envisioned but it doesn't look awful either. I might do one more line of green around it because it, uh, it, it just kind of looks weird right now. Let's actually try that and see what it looks like. All right, well, I never said I was an artist, guys, so bear with me here. Uh, ooh, this isn't scary at all. Here we go. Uh, we're just going to go all the way around this thing, and I think this should make it look a hell of a lot better. All right, I gotta be honest. The sun's at the other direction, so it's hard to tell, but the more that I look at it, the more it looks like a penis. Totally not intentional, but I think it's going to be good enough. I mean, it's not going to be the prettiest of sculptures here, but I'm trying, damn it. So what I'm going to do now is uh, do the windmill portion of this. So we need to go up to kind of the middle area here. Actually, did I, I didn't even make a middle, did I? I am not... 
Okay, this is gonna be the worst windmill ever. Because I decided to make this thing an even amount across, so obviously there's no middle section. So what we're gonna do... Oh god, this is so... Wait, is this middle? It did, I, I, am, I, am I crazy or is that middle? Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm crazy. So what we're gonna have to do is... Oh my god, this is gonna look so stupid. So stupid. Uh, but yeah, we need to expand this out a little bit because it's too close to the damn wall. Alright, I really gotta see what this looks like from a distance because it's gonna bother me if it looks really, really badly. So we're just going to go down again. And I just want to check this out. Alright, I almost killed myself. Ah, it doesn't look that bad. Once it has a big windmill in the front, I think it will look actually pretty good. All right, we still haven't tried flight yet, so I this is probably a really good time to do that. You do not have permission to do that. To enable cheats, type cheats on. I did that already, you stupid game. Okay, so I didn't know the fly key, but yes! There we go, so I have set flight to true. Now this is going to make designing so much easier. Why the hell didn't I do this before? I did this all without flying, and this thing... All right, this kind of looks like a fucking gnome now. That I, I, I have no idea how I'm going to turn this into a windmill, by the way. But what I am going to do, I'm going to try and use straw for the windmill. And I know that's probably going to seem weird to some people. But again, from a distance, I think it will accentuate uh, the actual windmill blades. And there's no real... Oh, Jesus. What? Oh, that's so cool. I can see my whole underground layer here, so you can gotta, you can kind of appreciate how much I've built. Sorry, I haven't uh, played with the flying just yet, and then here's our cave system. So that's really freaking cool. Uh, but yeah, I need to do these blades, so I think they'll actually look good with hay from a distance. It doesn't look like hay at all, obviously, so uh, yeah, we'll try this out and see how it looks. So I gotta figure out one... Actually, yeah, I should probably count this out. We definitely want the blades the same size, so let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How is ten? Is that gonna... Well, the, probably the best way to check is how far down it goes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's actually perfect because it goes right to that floor and uh it's actually uh, a really good size so we're gonna do it like that i'm gonna add a little bit more detail to these windmill blades but uh this is going to look pretty damn cool i think all right and there it is with the windmill blades it actually looks cool i did want to try something though so if we no i don't want to do it right beside it if we do something like this it's actually going to look like it has kind of like blades or the best of my ability to add blades to it anyways. And actually, yeah, that looks really cool. So we're going to do that all the way around. And honestly, aside from doing the internal work, that should be all we really need to do for the windmill itself. And the final blade. So there we go. So now all I really need to do... Well, first of all, let's just check this out. See what it looks like from a distance. Kind of looks like a swastika now. I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, guys. I actually really like the look of it. I think when the sun's actually on it and we can see it, I think it's going to look pretty damn cool. But now we got to move our guys into here. So it's probably, yeah, it's extremely dark in here. Let's uh, fill up that roof. This flight, man, I, uh, I, I truly missed out not doing this earlier on. All right, but we need some light everywhere. So let's just put, I don't know really what I'm going to do in here just yet. So I don't want to add too much light. Uh, what I think I'm going to do... Actually, should we add light to this as well? Can I... Ooh, I can add light to the middle of it. I like the idea of that. Alright, so that looks a little bit better. I do like the look of that. Now, inside, what I think I'm gonna do is kind of do half the room bunks. The other half is like a guard platform going all the way up. Or at least... Probably to up about here. I don't really see the point of going higher than this. I might just make that a big room up there. Alright, so let's just start building this and see what happens. So I think, yeah, that's going to be good. And then we can have this all as a floor right here. And I'm going to keep it with this nice light wood as well. And we'll make the floor go all the way around the sides here. And that's just going to give us a lot of room in here. I, I, I like the idea of this. Uh, will allow us to put some grinders down below here. We'll have the majority of the work going on at the first floor. The second floor, this is all going to be bunks up here. And then we're going to have guards over here guarding all those bunks. Alright, so this is coming together pretty well here. I'll show you what I'm doing right now. So I got 
This is the bed platform. Again, it's going to be a little tight in here, but I do like the idea of this. Then over here, we're going to have just a guard area where they can go and hang out. And then we're going to do that all the way up. So we'll see how many beds we need. I don't think we need too many just yet. But as we need more beds, we got lots of room in here to fill it up. And we will add more beds as it does progress. Now it is nighttime, so I'm going to wait till daytime. And then we'll finish this thing up. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I, I do have flight, so I'm not too worried about uh, dealing with zombies. So we're just going to uh, light up this back end here, and we got to figure out how many I need to move over here. Because we got all my grindstones in here. I guess we can just get rid of them and see how many people are unemployed. So yeah, we'll, we'll do it that way. Alright, but that one's done. This house is quickly going to be done as well. There we go. And we have 22 stations that need to be placed. All right, and 22. Let's see how they're actually doing. I haven't really been paying attention to that. They have lots of flour, and uh, we're still waiting for bread. So I think we need more cookers is what we definitely do need. Mind you, we're doing totally fine. We got lots of bread. We're at 40,000 food. I am not worried about food at all, but uh, yeah, we definitely do need some more cookers to deal with these uh, grinders here. So... What I'm going to do in here, I think, is just go crazy all the way down here. And what we'll do is behind this uh, stairs, we'll put some storage bays where they can walk to. All right, but got to be honest, I didn't expect to need this many. All right, we still have five unemployed, so we'll just go... Oop, didn't mean to do that. We'll just go all the way down the wall here, and that should be... Look at that, zero unemployed. That worked out really well, so we went all the way around the thing... Uh, we still have a little bit of space over here, but that filled up all our unemployment, so that is all the grindstones that we technically need. So let's not forget, let's get some storage in here as well. And I'll just put these at visually pleasing places, so behind the stairs, obviously. We'll put some over here, and I think that should be it. I mean, they don't need to walk too far away to uh, bank, that's for sure. Alright, the final thing we need to do in here is just beds. Now, for beds, I don't really have too much of a strategy here. I think I'm just going to go with it and see what happens here. I'm having a hard time actually placing them, which is a little bit weird. Uh, yeah, this, this whole place is totally lopsided, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, it is not perfect, guys. So what we're gonna do is just put as many beds as possible in here. It's gonna be kinda ugly, but they're hidden and out of the way. So that added a few more beds for us. We're at 350 beds, that's not too bad. We can add some more floors if we do want to. I think that's pretty much good though. I'm amazed at how lopsided this is. You would not be able to tell out here though. It actually looks pretty damn good. All right, but here they go to work in the actual windmill now. The grindstoners are doing it right now. And just do a few final touches here. We need uh, some more guards here, so let's put a quiver down. Uh, I don't know how many I'm going to want here. You know what? Let's do four. Again, we have so much food, I don't really need to worry. Uh, that should make, keep them f safe for sure. And then we'll do two by the doors here, and then two in the front maybe even. Actually, you know what? I think I'll do those down here kind of at the front lines. Now, I did notice something. I was actually, I don't know if you guys noticed this over here, but I was just checking out what options I had for bricks because there really isn't too many options. But the leaves actually do kind of, kind of look like bushes. So I think I'm going to utilize that to go and kind of have some bushes here as well. All right, so what we're going to do is just have this like that. Actually, yeah, that looks really freaking cool. So we'll just have a little bit of a bush here, just design it a little bit. Make it look a little bit more presentable. Let's go down the line here. And yeah, it doesn't actually look too bad. Actually, we can probably have these, you know, I don't I don't want to go too crazy with bushes. I think that should be good. We'll even get rid of some of those so it's not connected to the other bushes. But I think that looks pretty damn cool. Let's just fill that in right there. And bam! Ow! Oh, I didn't mean to not fly anymore, but bam! There is our windmill. So I do feel like it needs a little bit more lighting. Aside from that, though, it looks great. So we're just going to add... Yeah, we'll add lots of light here. Light this thing up so it does show its beautiful wood. And this should showcase uh, it going in on itself a little bit better as well. We'll do uh, some up here too. Oh, we got lots of light up here. But uh, the more light, the merrier, I guess you could say. Let's check that from the bottom now, see how it looks. And that looks a hell of a lot better. At least it's lit up now. All right, so everything is going well in here. They seem to be happy. They're doing their banking stuff. And you can see they bank really, really quickly, so that went very well. Now, for these little houses, I think this is a great place for another cookery. Like I said, I need more cooks anyways because this uh, 
flour that we have, 16,000 strong, we could definitely use some more cooks. So we have all these ovens here. Let's just go crazy and get some more cooks as well. All right, so what we're going to do in here, that looks good like that. We'll do uh, one more right at the sides here. That's probably as much as I can get in here without them overlapping each other. Now, uh, obviously, we need some crates. So in terms of crate placements, I think I'm just going to put two right here. A lot of people were suggesting I actually just put it on top of it, too. That would probably totally work, but again, I don't need to make sure my efficiencies are perfect because we're doing totally fine. Uh, but if, for example, I was having a hard time dealing with the food, I could probably just put these on top of each other so these guys didn't need to move at all and be as, e as efficient as possible. But I like the look of this. We'll do this at the same, uh, the same way at the other side as well, and then we'll have a shitload of cooks. And there we go. So I have 30 unemployed. That means we don't have enough beds. Shit. So where am I going to put more beds? I had a thought of putting some down here. I don't want to have all my beds in the mines, though. Let's actually go look, though, and see. Do we have... Jesus Christ, there's so many fucking beds here. Did, did, did I go all the way down to the bottom? Yes, I did. All right, so for the sake of speed, I'm just going to expand out the wall a bit here and add some more beds now. I can add more to my windmill, but I don't totally like the whole layout of the inside of the windmill, so I might address that a little bit later on. Right now, though, the easiest way to get more beds is to just expand out this room. We got so much room down here. It's the safest room as well. Nobody really dies down here, so that should be... Oh, we got 362 beds. That's actually just enough for our whole colony. So let's get uh, 30 more unemployed colonists in here. And bam! 361 colonists strong. I didn't even expect to recruit too many today. So let's go check this bad boy out. That's pretty much all we did today was this badass... Well, badass in my opinion. It does look kind of weird, I'll be honest. But uh, yeah, I do like it anyways. My, 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 my little windmill. Let's add some light to the top as well. Just to show off that green a little bit. There we go. Wow, that actually added a lot of light to it. And we'll just put one in the middle here. And then one on the side. Alright guys, so we're gonna end this one here. This took way longer than expected. We built a windmill for our grinders. And uh, yeah, they seem to be... Is anyone sleeping up in here? We do got some sleepers up in here. Uh, oh shit, we don't got any guards yet. That's a little scary. Uh, they might die. They'll probably definitely die. But we should have some guards coming in the very near future. Uh, they're actually probably on their way here because there's still some more guard outposts that have not been fulfilled. But yeah, another major build done feels pretty good. We got some more cookers as well. And the only other thing that we did was connect this to my actual castle. So now we truly are fully connected from the neighborhood to the castle. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Colony Survival. In the next episode, uh, once again, we'll probably be working on the neighborhood a little bit. I want to get that underground done. And, of course, I'm still... Whoa, I didn't expect to see so many zombies out here. I'm still thinking of what to do around here. I, I keep going back and forth between the castle idea. I do like a ship idea as well. I mean, there's just so much we can do in this game, guys. And I don't really want to rush out the content because updates are coming. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions as I am so undecided, feel free to put them in the comments below and I am reading them. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>